In an era where aerial supremacy defines global power, India is stepping into the elite league of nations, developing sixth-generation stealth fighter technology, a move that could reshape its defense landscape. As countries like the US, China, and Europe race ahead with futuristic combat systems, India's inclusion in the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, signals its intent to not just keep pace, but to lead. This breakthrough marks more than just a technological collaboration. It's a defining stride towards strategic autonomy, global influence, and India's emergence as a true defense superpower. A major strategic development has emerged as the United Kingdom and Italy extended an invitation to India to join their sixth generation fighter jet initiative, the Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP. India has now officially accepted this proposal, opening doors not just for technological collaboration, but also for access to transfer of technology and export licenses. This move is expected to accelerate India's own advanced medium combat aircraft program and significantly bolster its military influence in the Indo-Pacific. Let's understand in detail what exactly the GCAP program is, why India was invited to join it, what concerns Japan has, and what potential benefits India could gain from participating in it. GCAP, launched in 2022 by the UK, Italy, and Japan, aims to develop an advanced sixth-generation fighter jet that is smarter, deadlier, and more network-centric than existing aircraft. The key players include BAE Systems from UK, Leonardo from Italy, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries of Japan. These nations see India as both a strategic and economic asset, given its rising defense budget, strong manufacturing capabilities, and central role in Indo-Pacific geopolitics. So why did India accept the proposal? In fact, India had kept the proposal on hold until now. However, diplomatic sources have confirmed that India has officially reached out to the Japanese government and expressed its interest in joining the GC. This decision is extremely significant for India, as it will provide exposure to sixth-generation technologies, accelerate the progress of its own AMCA project, and offer a strategic edge in the Indo-Pacific region. India's participation will not only contribute to development, but also allow it to access cutting-edge technologies like AI-based combat systems, hypersonic weapons, and stealth infrastructure. However, Japan has expressed concerns about sensitive technology possibly leaking to Russia due to India's long-standing ties with Moscow. Japan's concerns may certainly be valid, but it must understand that India is currently a highly reliable and responsible defense partner. India has never leaked technology to any third party. Its role in various international programs has been clear and professional. If Japan is apprehensive, it can set clear clauses preventing India from sharing any technology with third parties, and India will fully abide by them. India will get the opportunity to work on the world's most advanced fighter jet technologies, such as AI-based combat systems, hypersonic weapons, network-centric operations, and stealth infrastructure. India's own 5.5 generation project, AMCA, is currently in the development phase. By joining the GCAP program, India's DRDO and HAL will gain invaluable experience. As China continues developing its J-36 sixth-generation fighter jet, India's participation in GCAP will allow it to directly compete in that race. In essence, India's entry into GCAP is not just about joining a fighter jet program. It marks a historic milestone in India's defense modernization, technological self-reliance, and global defense stature. What is your take on this? Do share us your opinion in the comments section. That's all in this video. Do give a thumbs up if you liked, also share with your friends. If you are new to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button. You can also support us by becoming a member and get access to some exclusive perks. Take care and thanks for watching.